good morning students how are you all i hope you all are fine and safe at home myself shweta mudgal a representative of shiv jyoti educational group kota today we will start with gk take out your books and pencil and start completing the chapter with me so we will start with chapter 8 that is language and literature students language is a very important part of the communication through which we express our ideas and the views so india is a home to very large number of languages as there are 29 states in india and they all speak different kind of languages which we will discuss in this chapter in fact so many languages and dialects dialects are a particular form of language peculiar to a specific region are spoken in india that it is often referred to as a museum of languages given below are names of different states here and we have to write the name of the languages spoken there let's check our knowledge how much we know about it okay start number 1 bihar mathili west bengal bengali jammu and kashmir dogri daman konkani goa also konkani assam assamese manipur manipuri odisha oriya punjab punjabi haryana haryanvi chandigarh punjabi delhi hindi uttar pradesh hindi himachal pradesh kangri and kinnauri karnataka kannada tamil nadu tamil kerala malayalam maharashtra marathi madhya pradesh hindi rajasthan marwadi before the constitution of india was made english was used as the official language of india hindi is in devanagari script which is declared by the indian constitution in 1940 as the official language of india let's move on to the next chapter that all about birds birds are a very enchanting species of the animal kingdom with different kinds of beaks colors feathers features and watching birds is very enchanting activity we all love it so we are discussing some of the unique characteristics of the birds here given below are the pictures of some unique birds which make them different from the another a brief narrative about these and their names in a jumbled form as you can see the name is given in a jumbled form we have to solve student please listen to me carefully one by one so we will start we are starting number 1 the picture is given here this bird has a keen sense of smell is very highly developed sense of smell its nostrils holes through which we breathe are located at the ends of its beaks where it is located at the end of the beak thus this bird can find food like insects and worms by probing searching apni beak se search karke dhoond leta hai under the ground with its beak that is kiwi k i w i second these birds have a large beak listen to me carefully large beak hoti hai which despite its size is very light size to bada hota hai par light hoti hai theek hai scientists believe that they use their beak to cool their body in hot साउथ अमेरिकन जंगल्स अपनी बॉडी को ठंडा रखने के लिए काम में लाता है बीक को द लेंथ ऑफ द बीक ऑल्सो हैव स्टेम टू रीच फूड्स विदाउट एक्चुअली हैविंग टू मूव बिकॉज ऑफ इट साइज एंड द आंसर इज टू कैन टी ओ यू सी ए एन नंबर थर्ड दीज बर्ड्स हु लिव इन आर्टिक एरियाज आर्टिक एरियाज विच इज स्प्रेडिंग अराउंड द नॉर्थ पोल इट इज एन जोग्राफिकल रीजन हैव ओवरलैपिंग डेंसली पैक्ड फैदर्स बच्चों इसके फैदर्स कैसे होते हैं एक दूसरे के ऊपर चढ़े हुए बिल्कुल डेंसली पैक्ड दे ऑल्सो हैव अ लेयर ऑफ ब्लबर मीन्स अ फैट ऑफ एनिमल्स मैमल्स और फैट अंडर द स्किन अब उसकी वजह से क्या होता है दीज फीचर्स हेल्प दैम टू स्टे वॉम जिसकी वजह से वो गर्म रहता है they coat their feathers with oil from a gland near the tail to keep their feathers from becoming wet beta kya karta hai ye iski gland jo iska tail ke paas ek gland hoti hai jisse oil secret hota hai apne pankhon ko usse coating kar leta hai jisse ki wo geele nahi ho pate densely honge geele honge to mushkil ho jayegi to ye jo iski gland se 
तेल से तेल के पास जो ग्लैंड होती है उसे जो ऑयल सीक्रेट करता है उससे वो अपने को वेट रखता है ठीक है बच्चों दैट इज पेंगुइन नंबर फोर अगेन लिसन टू केयरफुली द चिक्स बच्चे ऑफ दिस फ्लाइटलेस पैरट हु कैन नॉट नेचुरली फ्लाइट नेटिव टू न्यूजीलैंड बिलोंग्स टू अ प्लेस बाय बर्थ नेटिव मीन्स बिलोंग टू अ प्लेस बाय बर्थ फीट ऑलमोस्ट एंटायरली ऑन द सीड्स ऑफ रिमू ट्री किसके बीजों पर डिपेंड करता है रिमू ट्री स्टूडेंट रिमू ट्री इज अ काइंड ऑफ कोनी फॉरेस्ट एंड द एवर ग्रीन ट्री विच यू हैव रेड अबाउट इट इन द सोशल स्टडीज इट लीज एक्स ड्यूरिंग द फ्रूटिंग सीजन अब ये अपने अंडे कब देता है जब रिमूव ट्री का फ्रूटिंग सीजन होता है दिस एंश्योर सो दैट द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन द चेक्स of the birds can find a good supply of food nearby getting that is k a k a p o k a k a p o now the fifth bird which is also very important this bird lays its eggs into another bird's nest aapne suna hoga apne uh, eggs kahan par deti hai dusre ke nest mein and it can use its time and energy to do other things ताकि वो अपनी टाइम और एनर्जी को दूसरे काम करने में जैसे कि फीडिंग एंड प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर ऑफ स्प्रिंग में लगा सके नाउ द यंग ऑफ सम ऑफ दिस बर्ड्स हैव द सेम कलरिंग जो बच्चे होते हैं वो जिस नेस्ट में देती है वो सेम कलर के होते हैं तो मम्मी उनको पहचान ही नहीं पाती है कि ये किसके बच्चे हैं वो उनको उसी से तरीके से फीड करती है जैसे कि उसके खुद के बच्चे हों सो द होस्ट मदर होस्ट मदर जिसके नेस्ट में उन्होंने अपने चिक्स दिए बर्ड्स कैन रिकोगनाइज इंट्रूड इंट्रूडर मीन्स घुसपैठिया उसको पता नहीं चलता कि ये कोई हमारे नेस्ट में बाहर का कोई आ गया है दैट इज कोको सी यू सी के डबल ओ नाउ स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर ट्वेल्व आर इंडिया द ग्रेट मोमेंट्स एज वी ऑल नो दैट बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस देयर वॉज अ ब्रिटिश रूल आर फ्रीडम फाइटर्स फॉट फॉर मैनी ईयर्स टू गेट एन फ्री इंडिया so several great indian leaders and social reformers social reformers who bring changes in the society and get the society free from the existing social evils started several movements they started several movements during that time when they were fighting for the freedom and india to liberate the people from the british rule so here there are the names of the movements which we have to identify with the name of the person who started it Uh, clear students so we will start with one ram krishna mission it was started by swami vivekananda near the calcutta in 1897 to spread the teachings of the vedanta number 2 home rule league was any besit she was an british socialist and a woman activist also brahm samaj you all have heard about it raja ram mohan roy four anti simon commission movement this was a anti simon movement led by lala lajpat rai fifth you all have heard about it so many times azad hind fauj was formed by subhash chandra bose jinka nara tha tum mujhe khoon do main tumhe azadi dunga number 6 kit india movement in hindi we call it bharat chodo andolan was mahatma gandhi and seventh muslim league aga khan Indian National Congress which was formed in 1885 by A O Hume Gadar Party Lala uh, Hardyal Swaraj Party Mo Pandit Motilal Nehru 11th Hindustan Socialist Republican Association Bhagat Singh 12th First War of Independence that was Mangal Pandey So fill it carefully thank you